Hey Capricorn, it's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot. I am here today to do your December 2019 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. First of all, very, very happy early birthday to all of my late December Capricorns and also a very happy holiday season to each and every one of you. Okay, so before we get started Capricorn, um, really quickly, my Etsy shop. Thanks guys for everybody who has um, checked it out, who's made purchases, everything. I appreciate you. 20% off right now until December 4th on everything. Readings, spells, products, you name it. All product orders, that is orders that are being shipped, will receive a free sample of my new, my newest Life of Luxury Oil. It has a really uh, ton of really cool stuff in there. It's got pyrite, 24 karat gold leaf, Tahitian vanilla, um, calendula. It's a bunch of really neat stuff. I don't want to give away my whole recipe, but you get a little sample like this with every single order. Look how cute it is oh, and how sparkly. It's designed to bring in a very luxurious life if that is what you are after Capricorn. So please do go check it out. Link will be down below. Okay, Spirit Guides, Universe, Guardian Angels, and Ancestors, this reading is for the Zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay. Capricorn, December 2019. Capricorn, December 2019. Capricorn, December 2019. So for those that are new to my channel and don't know how I do my readings, it's a nine card spread. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify, do bottom of the deck overview, and I will be uh, doing a 2020 forecast, not just December, but the entire year of 2020. We're gonna cover love, money, and general advice and guidance over on Vimeo. That will be linked down below. Go check that out. Okay, so Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn expect for December. Okay, recent past. Page of Cups, okay. Offer apology or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Three of Cups reversed could be a third party situation, something along those lines. Knight of Cups reversed, oh, interesting. Okay, present energy for Capricorn. Knight of Swords reversed, not surprising. Tower reversed and the Chariot reversed. Okay, near future for Capricorn. King of Cups, you got a lot of water here, guys, a lot. Um, the Six of Swords, very nice. And the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I love, love, love this, the devil, which is you, Capricorn. So that is your card. You are crowning the month of December. A lot of you guys are coming into yourselves, coming into, uh, you know, getting yourselves, I mean, in a, in a really great place. It looks like maybe just getting your ducks in a row for your birthday or just for the new year that's coming up, 2020. Now, some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate. Believe it or not, the devil is a card of soulmates, right? A lot of times it represents the more physical or carnal energy between two people, as indicated here. They are book naked, all right? Um, and they are chained together. They cannot break away from each other. So some of you guys could be dealing with a relationship whereby you feel very attached to that person. Okay, or that situation, if it's a job or a friendship, whatever, you know, just apply it to your situation, it's general. All right, recent past, Page of Cups. So with water sign energy, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, usually that is an offer, a romantic offer, or an offer of friendship, or it can be an apology too, Capricorn. Some of you may have apologized to you for something they have done, especially if it was a friend that wasn't acting right, okay? Three of Cups reverse is a friend who either was a false friend or they screwed up, okay? They're not, uh, maybe you were pissed off at them. Now, it could be a romantic partner too, uh, whatever the case may be, but it also could be that some of you Capricorns, of course, are in the dreaded third party situation, my favorite phrase. Not my favorite phase, I'm just kidding, but you know what I'm saying. Could be that some of you guys are dealing with that third party energy. We'll clarify all of this. Knight of Cups reversed. Uh, you know, it almost feels to me Capricorn like in like a lion, out like a lamb. That's not really what I'm looking for. So basically what this looks like is like you gave, you trusted somebody. They came in like a page of cups, like very sweet, very kind, very considerate, but very soon you figured out they were not what they appeared, all right? They, they couldn't, maybe they could never just get past that page level, which is the immature phase of things. Like they were, they were very nice off the bat, and then when things needed to escalate or things needed to go into another direction, they were not who they appeared to be in the beginning, okay? Um, 
because somebody's withholding a cup. Now you could just be withholding this cup, Capricorn, because you are afraid of, no, maybe not afraid, but just you're weary. You're trying to figure out what the hell's going on with this person. They could party a lot with the Three of Cups reversed. You know, that's a lot of drinking, a lot of partying sometimes, stuff like that. Present energy, Knight of Swords reversed, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I know that's gonna, you're, a lot of you guys are like, yep, yep, yep. I know, I read for you, I know. Um, personally, I mean. So that is somebody who's very hasty or very sporadic, okay? Typically with the Knight of Swords reversed, it's a, it's a sign for me to tell you that haste makes waste. Be careful that you are not making any decisions too hastily, okay? Um, you could be dealing with someone, especially if they're an air sign person, who is very all over the place, all right? Just all over the place. There's no other way to put that with the Knight of Swords reverse. They are up, down, hot, cold, and all around, okay? Maybe driving you a little bit crazy. Um, you could be trying to get something off the ground and it feels a little bit delayed as well, Capricorn. Tower reverse, so that's Scorpio energy, but that's also, uh, it's either one of two things. It is rebuilding after the tower has fallen, meaning that something has collapsed in its entirety, something has just fallen into pieces and you are now trying to rebuild it could also mean capricorn that you are holding on for dear life okay trying not to let this thing fall apart you are the person that you're with or the situation whatever it is um really struggling to keep something together and it's like that gang of jenga you know you pull out the blocks one by one eventually the tower is gonna fall but you're like oh you got your hands around it like please don't fall we'll clarify okay chariot reverse cancerian energy cancer zodiac sign also, uh, but it's reversed, okay? So uh, this is also a card, the Chariot of Travel. So it's also a card of physical movement of the body. It's also a card of your vessel, your vehicle. So for some of you, it's car problems. For some of you, it's travel delays. For some of you, it's, it's figuratively not being able to move in the direction that you want to move in, okay? And some of you are dealing with a cancer, and again, they are reversed, all right? King of Cups at the bottom. So if you're dealing with that cancer and they're reversed, it's very likely good outcome here, okay? King of Cups uh, upright, sorry, did I say reversed? Upright is somebody who is emotionally stable. They're secure. They mean what they say. They say what they mean. They are um, trustworthy, kind, compassionate, and caring. So if you're dealing with somebody who seems very, very, very wishy-washy at the moment, back and forth, hot and cold, you don't know what to expect from this person, they could straighten up, okay? Especially if they're a water sign. Um, they could surprise you, really, is what I'm getting here. It feels very surprised, like, wow, they really made a turnaround. Like, it could be somebody who was giving you the runaround with dating, you know, like they're not really wanting to commit or playing games with you, and they've straightened up, okay? So surprisingly, because we have the Six of Swords next to that, which is sailing out of conflict into calmer waters, and with with this card, for very many of you, this is involving another person. So see, she's she's just coming out of Five of Swords. She's beat up, right? She's tired. She's exhausted. She's been in a major war, basically a battle. And this guy is helping her and her little one, okay, um, get out of that situation and go into these, like, smooth seas, okay? They're going off to dry land over here where it's not so rough. All right, now we've got the Seven of Cups. So this ends, this month ends Capricorn with a lot of decisions to make. There's confusion as to what to do with this person or this situation. And I feel like it's because they do a Jekyll and Hyde. They may have done this to you already quite a few times. Now, um, meaning that, you know, they, it's they're hot and cold. You know, they're back and forth a lot. They, you're not sure what to make of this person or this situation. You've, you've trusted them and then now you don't and you want to because they look like they're doing great, but yeah, can you really trust this? You know, that's the issue. Um, all right, let's clarify. Page of Cups, let's see. In the recent past for Capricorn. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you may have you may be holding on to someone or something because you want them to be the way that they were. You want them to be that sweet page of cups, you know? You may be holding out for an apology, that type of thing. Or maybe somebody did apologize to you and now you're holding on to them. Three of Cups reversed, star reversed, Aquarius energy, but also um, it is indicative of uh, not getting exactly what you want. Again, you thought you're just, when the star is here, it's like, wow, all of my dreams are coming true. And when it's reversed like that, it's like, whoa, okay, no, they're not. <laughs> you know, you, you, you thought something was one way and there, it was another way. Knight of Cups, okay, reverse, the, for the fool. Some of you guys decided in the past to just move on from this person, to leave it behind you, to take a fresh, 
a fresh start, right? Because you, you thought, you gave up. You were like, this person or this situation is never gonna get to where I want it to be. It's never gonna be that page of cups again. So I have to move forward. I have to take a leap of faith and a risk and move forward with my life. And you did, okay? Knight of Swords reverse, what is this? Queen of Cups reverse, more water energy. But this person is not only wishy-washy, back and forth, hot and cold, they're also emotionally unstable, all right? So it's like, um, or maybe the fact that you had to kind of make a, a sudden shift, a very hasty shift in your life, Capricorn, you felt unstable. Like say, say you were planning on staying at your job, you really didn't like it, but you wanted to stay because it was stable and you were making money. And then all of a sudden the place shuts down, you know? And now it's like, oh my God, you know, this place shut down, like, whoa, you know, now you're upset because that's what the Queen of Cups is. Because um, when she's reversed, it, it was sudden, you know? It was surprising, it was shocking. The Tower, the Three of Wands. Making plans for the future, making plans to move forward. If this involves a relationship or a partnership, this is choosing the partnership. So some of you guys, regardless of all of these red flags, you're choosing to go ahead and still pursue the relationship with this person. For others of you, this is making plans to move forward. Like if it's the job and it shut down, you're rebuilding from the tower and you're looking out to the future now. Like what am I gonna do with my life? What do I want to do with my, my career? You know, that type of thing. Chariot reversed. Six of coin reversed, okay. So trying to make traction by being generous to others sometimes does not pay off, right? Sometimes people just take that generosity and they just run with it. They don't really give a shit, <laughs> you know? And so I feel like for some of you, you're realizing now that you were way too generous to people. You were way too generous or kind to others, to giving, and they took you for what they could get. All right, so you're pulling back on that now. So you may be looking forward, but you're looking forward with this lesson in your pocket that like, I learned now, you know, like I learned not to be, not to overextend myself to others because it's risky. You know, some of you have that now on with you, like that's kind of a chip on your shoulder. The King of Cups for Capricorn, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Okay, so again, I feel a sudden turnaround here. It might not be, they may come back to you, Capricorn. I just, like I said, I feel like they're coming back around and they're pulling, it almost feels like the same old game, but now they've really ramped it up. Now they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, oh my gosh. And they've done something that proves to you, quote unquote, proves to you that they are changed, that they are a new person, that this situation is going to be completely different at the end of the month. But you're like, oh no, motherfucker. Like it, it almost is like timing is off because you don't trust it. You know, six of swords, the sun reversed. Some of you guys have really just closed the book. You know, you're, you're done with it, you're out. You're not happy about it, but you're doing it, okay? Um, that's a card of being just not happy about something, okay? Um, it could also be a card of Leo um, or any other fire sign, really. Um, sometimes it has to do with the kids, okay? So the kids may not be happy. You could be moving as well, and the kids may not be super thrilled about that. Um, seven of Cups, let's see. Oh, we got one, a, a flyer. Let me see what we got. Let me try to not knock this over. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles reversed. Now again, you know, Capricorn, this is about, um, you, you're really uncertain about whether this is going to work. You may be uncertain about work in itself, okay? Just your job, your company, that type of thing. But this Three of Pentacles, this, when it's upright like this, it's a well-oiled machine. Everything's moving in the right direction. Everybody's doing their part. Everybody fixed their cog and it's working, right? It's working fine. And when it's like this, it's like, I don't know if this is gonna work out. Are they gonna really pull their weight this time? Are they really gonna do what they said they were gonna do or not? I guess that remains to be seen. All right, Capricorn, that's what I got for you. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a 2020 overview on Vimeo, link will be down below. It's gonna cover in, it, uh, in depth love, money, and general advice and guidance for 2020. If you're interested, please do check out that down below. Also, don't forget about the Etsy shop. If you need a personal reading, just shoot me an email. All of that stuff is in the description bar. I love you guys, have a very, very happy holiday season, and I'll talk to you soon, bye.